Hi folks, Ryan here, Solutions Architect at Ivan. At Ivan, we do open source data platforms as a service. And today I'm gonna to show you a cool integration that we can do between the Ivan Kafka service and Datadog. So let's get to it. But first, a little background information. How to send metrics to Datadog from Ivan Kafka services. You might be asking yourself, why should we monitor our cluster with Datadog? Well, there's one really good reason for that. Datadog presents an entire view of cloud scale applications. It's easy to use, easy to integrate with. In our integration with the Ivan Kafka services will provide us with topic metrics that we can use to optimize our cluster. It should be noted that for all Ivan users, these topic metrics are free. Now, just a little bit of background information on what Kafka is, in case you didn't know already. So Kafka allows you to create a broker and this broker allows the communication between a producer and a consumer. The producer connects to your data source and sends data to the topic in the broker. The consumer pulls the data from the topic. So essentially Kafka just ships data or bytes from point A to point B. So how do we monitor our cluster, our Kafka cluster? Well, first we create an Ivan Kafka service with a data source relevant to our project. In our case, it will be a Python script. Then we integrate our project with Datadog by integrating our service in the Ivan console. And then we enable the endpoint and configure the Datadog dashboard. So let's take a look at our Python project now. Okay, great. So at the top, we see that we have a Kafka producer object. There are a few different attributes in this Kafka producer and all these attributes come from the Ivan Kafka console. And one thing to note is the SSL files. These SSL files are downloadable from your Ivan Kaf uh, Kafka service. And all you do is you insert them into your Python project. And that ensures that your data stream is secure. Of course, it works for other programming languages as well. But in this example, we're using Python. So down to our custom process uh, message method, this shows that we are, uh, as a data source, we have a web socket that is connecting to the cryptocurrency exchanges. And what we are doing in this method is we are calculating the spread between the ask prices and the bid prices. And then we are sending that value to our Kafka topic. So to ensure that our data stream from the cryptocurrency exchanges is actually working, what we can do is we can print the messages from the consumer and see if there is data. So let's take a look down here at the terminal. We're gonna click our consumer to see the output and look at that, our, our method is actually streaming data in real time. So let's take a look at our Ivan Kafka service to see how the service integration with Datadog actually works. Okay, great. So our service name is Kafka Demo RM, and it looks like that it is running on a three node cluster. Over to our service integrations tab, we see that we have a whole list of available service integrations. But for our use case, Datadog is definitely the best choice. Now, a little bit more background on Datadog. Datadog is a monitoring service for cloud scale applications, bringing together data from servers, databases, tools, and services to present a unified view of an entire stack. Now down to our endpoint, we have a created a Kafka demo endpoint with an API key. It should be noted that this API key comes directly from your 
Datadog subscription. So all that you do is you copy your API key from Datadog and you paste it here. Then you give your endpoint a name and that completes your service integration. It is already done. So now that that's done, let's take a look at our Datadog dashboard to see what visual analytics we can derive from our Kafka topics. Okay, very impressive. We have a option to build another widget, but we have already built our widget over here. So let's take a look at it. Okay, as you can see over the past few hours, um, the speed in which the uh, Kafka topic has been producing bytes has been fluctuating over time. And down here, we see that our CPU is running at a healthy rate. But if it was running a little bit too hot, what we could do is we can easily up, upgrade our service in the, in the Ivan uh, cluster. And that would happen in zero downtime with zero interruption to our cloud application. Datadog provides really useful analytics for our cloud applications. If you think that this use case was interesting or you would like to try one yourself, feel free to sign up for a free trial on ivan.io. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.